What did you think of this bonkers <laughs> episode? Uh, I reckon it's my second favorite one so far. It's so good. It could be a future favorite, as in like, but the first episode was so good. But it was great. I loved it. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it from the very get-go. You know, the reception of this episode was not received very well. A lot of what? people did not like it. Like, they thought, I got one quote, like, are you going on Reddit? Like, a lot of people, like, this was the most repulsive, unenjoyable shit ever. A lot of people were offended. How? It's hilarious. This episode is great because there's so many moments where you can just feel like you're in their mind. And they've obviously just gone to lengths where they're just like, because even at some point in the episode, they're just like, this is weird even for us. Like, like Yes, they break the fourth wall. Exactly. They're basically just saying just like, we, we are, we're aware that this is a bit more weirder than what we normally would go. But fuck it. It's our show. This is our minds. Our personalities coming to life. You're just, just fucking bear with us. I love it. I, I, I Like, same. Like, I thought it was ridiculous. And funny yes, exactly. and That's silly and satirical, yeah. right? Mm. And it's not like Rick and Morty haven't done versions of this in other ways. They've referenced heavy sexual content, but I guess maybe the the incest stuff at the end uh, is a <laughs> is a new level in some yes. ways. It's hilarious. <laughs> but let's back up to the beginning. We got Rick Dependence Spray, which is a hilarious name and a reference to Independence Day. Mm-hmm. And then we see this. Odd looking horse ejaculated machine. Did you think that it was going to go the way the episode was going to go when it goes back to Rick and the. <laughs> we I, mean, I, I had no idea the episode no, was man. taking that turn. Of I'm like, I could guess here, Morty's going to have a good time, right? Once yes. he sees his face. <laughs> Dude, you just, it like slowly just zooms into his face and it's like, you see his mouth twitch. I'm like, I know exactly what you think. And Morty. Because. If every teenage, if, if a teenager had access to a piece of equipment like this, um, and then no one knew, come on, son. And look at the, the next shot. It's so perfect. He's he's busted about 79 loads in the last 24 oh, hours. In the most pleasing experience of his life. He's getting his vitamin C to you know, replenish himself. <laughs> and he thinks, there's not going to be any consequence to this, surely. How would there be a consequence to just... <laughs> but then his dad's rolling the exact same... Yeah, when this happened, I was just like, oh my fucking God, here we go. So, Rick's like, he trusts Morty, just like Morty yeah. would trust Rick. Mm-hmm. Well, the, ta- the the tables are flipping. Exactly. That's what they're doing a lot this season. They're really showing Morty picking up traits of his family. Mm-hmm. And so... Here we have Rick. Oh, believing Morty. All right. The seam is safe, right? And Morty's <laughs> freaking out. What's going to happen? And then... <laughs> semen world. Semen world. Semen monsters. <laughs> At this point, I'm, I was like, okay, it's one of these episodes. <coughs> I mean... So, Morty's feeling mortified, shocked, okay. chagrilled. And knows it's completely his fault, but just does not want to own up to the fact because then people will know that he fucked a horse sex machine. <laughs> but does that remind you of anybody? Rick? Yes, it reminds you of Rick. A lot of these episodes are, are Morty centric. Hmm. Which I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that because the show is Rick and Morty. So the people you want to be centric more about is those two characters. It's nice that the other episodes where it's not about them, but you definitely want, I feel like, most of the episodes to be about them. But Rick typically took the center stage with the adventures they'd go on. Definitely, 100. And now, it seems Morty is taking like a center role in the lessons and adventures and mistakes. Hmm. Which I'm all for. It gives the show a lot more variety and a uh, different way to look at it. And so... Morty's realizing all these sperm monsters, these uh, are coming after him. They're coming after everybody. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm so glad the president got brought back into this. He's one of my favorite characters and the voice actor is so good. And you know, speaking of voice actors, you notice, oh, actually, that's the other episode. That's episode three. Um, <laughs> and so they're going to expo- supposed to be sorting this out. Hmm. Actually, do you know the killer... Sp- it's a reference to a movie 
this uh this killer sperm is it free willy free willy that would what no it's not it's it's actually like this really unknown movie on IMDb you could see called Killer Sperm from Deep Space. It's, Wait, that's what it's called. Yeah, it's that's what it's called, and it's the concept is the Earth is a giant egg waiting to be fertilized. Every hundred billion years, Killer Sperm travel the universe, populating galaxies and new planets, and that's the concept, and that's where they supposedly took it from. That's amazing. I, I that's awesome that they took it from there. That's so cool. And I love this. This is the second time. How big are space dicks? Because <laughs> you'd want to know, of course. Giant sperm. Oh, yeah. And plus, you're a male. You, you just want to. You always want to compare your dick to another dick. It's it's ingrained <laughs> in the DNA. The DNA. So, what do you have a favorite moment? A favorite moment or quote in this episode? Yeah. Uh, definitely. I don't know if I can see it yet, but probably. But if you think about that, or at least we come up, tell me, tell us, tell everybody. But then we see, they mention these dwelling horse people. The chuds. And do you know what chud stands for? No. So they're going through like apparently a war, this unknown shadow war with these groups of horsemen. Yeah. So when they're mentioning it here, I, I, I knew it would probably come back in the episode, but I was just wasn't sure how. So... The Chud stands for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. Oh, that's why they were digging underground. I didn't I didn't pick that up. So I when they started digging, I just thought it was random. <laughs> well, it's, that's, again, based on another movie called Chud. Wow. So that's really cool that a lot of things in this episode they've brought from other worlds that people have created. Yeah. Dude, they, so, they, that's really cool. Almost every episode, there's many references to things like that. It's basically just praising their work by doing it here. It's cool. It's like we, we salute people that come up with weird shit and there needs to be more of it. Now, this guy's the world leading expert on sperm. What do you <laughs> think's on his tie? On his on his shirt? That's my definitely, question. Definitely jizz. Well, I just love how they had to get a professor on sperm and then look at him. A guy that clearly watches way too much porn. <laughs> way too much. <laughs> Oh, it's such a it's such a great moment. And this kind of like I was watching some uh, some reviews or analysis on the episodes, and this guy's kind of like because they use reference to Independence Day. Does this guy remind you of anybody in Independence Day? Talking to the uh, president, white guy. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen that movie since I was probably 17, 18 years old. Oh, so that's I a long really, time. I can't really remember. Fair it. Well, at least you've seen it, bro. I know. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually watched it a bit when I was younger. What Jeff Goldblum? If you remember Jeff Goldblum. Hell yeah, dude. Like, it, it seems like he's trying to, they're trying to make like a bit of a similarity there. <coughs> mm. So then they put the beast. Humple steel skins. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of like, that's what this, the subtitles I always keep subtitles on. Yeah, yeah, because you miss things. I definitely missed a few things. I was eating far as I was uh, watching it, so I was constantly looking down to get some. Yeah, you got to be doing these ones. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's, that's what I was doing. And every now and again, you have to look down to make sure. But if you keep it right up here, like ramen noodles, you'll yeah, miss that's, nothing. That's how I got new techniques for watching now. I, was, I should have done that. <laughs> I didn't know the techniques. Needed, where were you when I was eating my food? <laughs> so Morty, Morty is sweating. He's oh, popped yeah. the molly. He's sweating. Woo! Pop the molly, I'm sweating. He doesn't want to get caught. He doesn't want to get found out that he pumped his loads <laughs> so into a machine. Kills it. And then I just love how the he looks into his eyes like, but Morty wouldn't lie. Morty never lies. <laughs> and, and and Jerry's trying to be helpful. This is little those little side things. Everybody on the screen, look look at how they're looking at Jerry. It's so beautiful as well that they've made it Jerry the character because it really portrays like how society, especially older a lot of older men, portray women as useless. Ah. And the fact that they've made Jerry be the character of the man is just showing how much of a joke it is because Jerry is the least man out of all men. That's really interesting you make that mm. observation because in the episode as well, they do reference gender stereotypes. Like yeah. 100% male Marines were only sending men in. And then Summer... I think comes it's... Up with the, yeah, Summer comes up with the, the plan on how to make everything you know better. And then someone steals her idea and he gets the credit, which happens all the time. Right. But I think, didn't she end up, the idea for the egg, which ended up in space, which kind of 
is not the best idea with how it oh, ended yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but the moral of the story is that someone took her idea. Right, the premise <laughs> of gender stereotypes and roles seems to be like consistent within this season so far. Yeah, I fuck with it. So now they're going off to... I don't know who these guys are supposed to be based on. <laughs> I don't know, but the guy on the right, I thought we'd see more of him, but he's definitely the first one who dies. <laughs> But oh, that dude, the samurai guy? Oh my god. It's, that's probably my favorite part of the episode. Which part? This part here or later? Later with the samurai guy when he's in like his final death scene. Blazing. It, have you seen the... Have you seen the trailer to the new Marvel movie, uh, Shang, Shang-Chi? No, but I need to watch it because that'll be lit. So he's the first Asian Marvel character. I thought maybe they were playing off that. And they were kind of, because they referenced Marvel a few times. Shout out to Coconut Water. You get those electrolytes, baby. Always, ah, baby. I live off this shit. So I thought they were referencing them because they referenced Marvel uh, a couple times because apparently the writers on Rick and Morty often get stolen to go work on Marvel movies. I don't know if you know that. No. So maybe uh, the producers, Dan Harmon, making a, a reference there. Let me make some bank with that. Oh, but he was the first to die. Yeah, but where the other guy go that was in the plane? He definitely died when he crashed. Oh, I don't know. So I, th- I, I suspect that uh, Blazon is a reference to the character of this Marvel, new Marvel character. But Morty's got the juice. Morty's the father. Morty's got the juice. I <laughs> I also love with the sperm, like when he saves the day and then straight away doesn't even think about going to the egg because it's fucking Morty. He's just a horny motherfucker. Wait, wait. He he doesn't think he doesn't think about going to the egg. Oh no, the the sperm does after it saves the day later on. Oh right, because it's got that Morty DNA. <laughs> yeah, but it's just funny because it's his sister's. T- right, that's that's that that's I <laughs> think <laughs> the messed up part. A lot of people didn't like the Morty like. Morty's egg would go towards But I'll, that's pushing boundaries. Like, that's what comedy is. That's what like, yeah, yeah. comedy exactly. can be, I should say. Exactly. Yeah, I find it hilarious, man. Yeah, so even though Jerry's being relatively useless, just getting water, which is actually useful, they're still casting uh, female characters being stereotypically useless even though they're trying to pr- promote useful ideas. Mm. What do sperm want, gentlemen? The same thing as lumberjack in the morning or a fox at night. Eggs. I love the way, <laughs> she, I love, I love the way she goes about it. She Look at this. Like, this is, uh, what a great moment. You need a giant egg. And what do they do? Oh, it's so true. Every day I wake up in the morning and I have morning wood. I just want to fuck the shit out of something. I get it. I get it, Summer. Maybe you need one of those machines. <laughs> or... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not fucking 12 anymore. <laughs> but if I was 12, fucking get me one ASAP. Uh, <laughs> so, Blazon dies in a very strange ending. It's amazing. He's just Because he's brought out to be this, like, real fucking cool solo character, like how a lot of movies have. And then he just ends up being the biggest fucking douchebag. It's so well done. It's so well done. I love it. And then a reference to Star Wars here. Who gets caught like this in the ice? You remember? I remember how Han Solo gets frozen. Yeah, exactly, man. That's the reference? That's the reference, yeah. True. No, I didn't pick that up. Our stallion is already here. <laughs> this is when they find out. Oh, Morty tried so hard for no one to find out at the cost of so many human lives. He tried so hard. But how many t- This is like numerous times we've seen Morty, like, lives being cost because of his lies or mistakes. Yeah, but a lot of the time, the mistakes and the mistakes, like, he's not super aware of because they're Rick's, 
like Rick's crazy situations where Morty has no knowledge, but this this Morty had like complete knowledge this whole time. Right, and in like episode two, or is it episode one, where he goes to portal to get the wine? <laughs> like he had actually no, he didn't have knowledge. He was ignorant because he was being blinded again by like Morty's being consistently blinded by what would you say? Women, sex, lust, horniness. Oh, yes. I also love here where he's just like, Rick, save me. Like, he's angry that he's about to get a fucking free hand job. <laughs> Bro, the consequences of this <laughs> free like, hand job. I love Morty's face so afterwards because he's just like, oh, no. And you can see him clearly enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when they start fighting these sperm. Hmm. Oh, and also, do you notice that no portal gun so far? Yeah, no portal gun. I reckon they, I reckon maybe they, for this season, they'll just like, we want to test ourselves so we can't use a portal gun because it makes riding a lot harder. Because if you have a portal gun, riding's a lot easier. Like if you, if you need a way to get out of something, because do you know how at the end of this episode, they're just like, well, we like they kind of ended up with like pushing a button, be like, well, that was easy. I think it's because they're trying to find new ways to find escapes out of certain situations that don't involve having a portal gun. Right. But then still acknowledging to us that that was easy with the way they entered it. I think it's also a reference to Rick not having to commit to having a child. <laughs> Definitely. Because it just buried into the earth and it was gone. Yeah. Like that was easy. I thought I would have to take care of that kid. I didn't think about it like that. That's cool. So, so now, now, <laughs> now the chuds are here. The and chuds. This is when I'm just like, yes, I'm so glad they brought them. Wait, have, have we seen them before in previous episodes? I don't think so. No, it's the first time I think we've seen the chuds. So that's when everyone realizes the sperms is Morty's. Obviously, all space launches take thirty minutes. So this guy just kills himself, <laughs> which is hilarious the way he does it. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> So now, like, oh, no, what's going to happen if this sperm gets inseminated? Sorry, this egg gets inseminated with Morty. And so it seems like Rick has fucked every species in the galaxy from planets to horses. Yeah. That's just Rick, and I'm sure Morty's going to do the same. He's already, you know... You think that's the fate of, like, Rick, Morty's now reliving re- living through the uh, his version of Rick's... They're just, they're just horny motherfuckers. So now, plot twist. <laughs> of course. A great, a great plot twist. I like this bit as well, where it's just like, oh, wait, who dropped this? And gives it to someone who looks like someone who'd more likely be reading it. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I didn't really get that, but... <coughs> I get it. So now we're in Vegas. It's a, a, a little play on the words pesticide, because pesticide is supposed to keep bugs away. Nice. And this is actually like, I don't know if you've been, you haven't been to Vegas, but it actually kind of, these are real m- monuments. I also love how these people get to fight the 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 acrobat people, the ones that are at the. Yeah, I wonder why they brought them in. Like, why yeah. why reference them? But then they played a small role. Yeah, I liked it. It was just like what? Like, there was no reason to, but they did, and they made it look cool. And here's like the female characters trying to warn. Once again. <laughs> right, but people don't didn't listen. So another like. This is like a this is like like the Lord of the Rings theme where uh, the guy with the bombs running towards and everyone's trying to shoot him down and then he doesn't and he just blows up the helm Steve. I don't remember that. I need to rewatch those. Good ass movies. So apparently Earth was at a centuries long war with these chuds underground because why not just write that in? Amazing. And so they help fight these killer sperms. I love the Chad's conversation as well. It's just horse puns. It's so dumb. Yeah, yeah. These guys. Here's <laughs> he's, he's your, he's your friends. 
And this guy is an actual, I think he's an actual magician. They cast it like he's actually oh. somebody. I was wondering why he had such a long line. Like I thought it was funny, but I also thought at the same time that it probably did go on a bit too long for the joke to be funny. Yeah, I think it's somebody. Uh, I think it's somebody uh, notable. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense now. So you think Sticky's gonna save the day, but Sticky just wants the egg. Yeah, Sticky just wants that egg. He's a, he's a male seaman. <laughs> fuck yeah! <laughs> like like yeah. I love how Morty realizes he is like fuck. Like he's just like he's attracted to his sister sometimes. <laughs> Lol. And, and and it's like a little it's like they we touch on many subjects here, right? Again, we're touching on now like um uh pro choice, pro life of uh abortion. Like do you see like this is that's human life he's saying? Mm. This is an election cycle. I don't want to be known um to be killing. I don't want to be killing life. We're humans, we don't kill. Right. Yeah, we do all the time. Yeah. So that space is problem now. That's what I think. That's reflective of what we do as humans. We, you know how much space junk there is. Yeah, man. Have you seen so, the maps? No, I haven't seen. You the seen maps. the graphs? But bro, because like we can't keep chucking it to our oceans and on our land. Because have you seen the dump sites on Earth, bro? There is so much. Like we have to put it in space. There's nowhere else to put it. No, no. I'm just saying space junk as from. No, we don't put it there. But like satellites debris i mean like that but surely we'd put stuff in space right what do you mean like trash no yeah what no it would make sense to you think we're launching futurama style giant balls of trash into space fuck yeah why the fuck not we're that not sounds... doing that <laughs> that's the we're... future then maybe that's my future I'm there are more my own my own space shooting trash so there are more than 27,000 pieces of orbital debris which are tracked by the government because they can smash into shit. So there you go. Here's another one. That's lit. <laughs> Is it lit? <laughs> oh, Blazer's wife. <laughs> they didn't have to add this as well, but they did. And I, think it's, I think it's good. I think it's a good scene. I don't know where it was going to go. Thought, what's Morty's face? Is he, does he like her? No. Break and forth. A, this is such a good way to end the episode. Because they're just like, how do we end it? And then they're just like, oh, we have to kind of close off some things with this episode. And then they just like. <laughs> yeah, I think that's another reference of like, that was easy. And he thinks, oh no, I'm going to have to take care of this horse child. He's got the same hair as Rick. But he's ready to. It, it, it seems like Rick was actually ready to have some responsibility. And then it just, he didn't need to. And he was just like, oh, cool. Like, it seems like as Rick's aging, like he's actually growing a bit. And so Morty's turned to Rick and Rick's actually becoming a little less Rick. Yeah. Yeah, I think we see that. I like how they do that. I like how the producers, are, it's growth. It's not just mm, different yes. adventures every episode. Which, which I like, man, because it gives me the, the feeling that this, this show will end one day and we'll see change because there's definitely shows, for me, example, The Simpsons. Like, Simpsons is a great show, but mm. any sort of character development that happens in an episode might not necessarily be in the next one because those characters all kind of yeah. like living the same day over and over. So it's nice to have, I feel, actual progression. That's a great example. Um, I'm not far enough into The Simpsons to really see the character development, but it's minor. It's like there's not... Actually, they've killed off some characters. They killed off Maud. That was consistent. Ned's wife, you remember? Yeah, I remember that. Like, it doesn't happen very often like this. It's a great point. Yeah, it's sort of a little, 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 little bit of information for you. And so, all right, this poor spaceman. Yeah, he's just talking about his family and how much he... It doesn't remind wife. him when he's in space of his family. And then he just gets to be a fucking rattle doll for a fucking weird ass little baby Morty alien weird sperm thing. <laughs> like it's a weird looking motherfucker. I hope we see this in a future episode. Yes, there's a lot of there's a lot of potential. There's um a lot of characters from the past that we could see. Our uh, planet 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 T. What's her name? Planet Planetina. She'll uh, come back for sure. Uh, the ocean. The way they the way they ended the Planetina episode was really poor, but we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about. We're going to do a review of that. 
I mean, we'll do it right after this, which means it's on the channel already, so you guys can check that out. <laughs> but the in the first episode, a Nimbus, right? Mm. Expect I still to see him. The best episode. Yeah, agreed. This one to me is the second best, though. I really enjoyed this. Man, I think that's going to be unpopular opinion. Not that I disagree, but <sighs> if you look I, on I, Reddit after, you'll see. I can I get why people could be angry at it, but like, like I like who cares? Like I don't think it's setting up a bad example or anything. I'm pretty sure that most people don't think like that. Like, I can see the humor in it. I think yeah. people gonna be people. Yeah, man. I mean, just to can you see the Reddit screen now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if I show you, but this was just obnoxious. It isn't completely worthless. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, I see. I can move back up. I see. I see. Because I closed them. <laughs> so you could read more. Yeah. So there, it was a couple of these. What? Even worse than the Dungeons Dragons episode. The Dungeons Dragons episode was amazing. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> That's 700 people agree. What? Why didn't people like... Why? Did, slats! You slats! That was a hilarious episode. What a first episode to try and show your parents. Uh. Wait, does anybody like it? I fucking loves it. This is the dumbest episode ever. It was actually horrible. Just a bunch of random ideas thrown together. It shows Morty That's what being... what makes it so good. Of course they're random ideas. Because so many times as humans, we don't roll with our random ideas. We have to have an idea that works. Why can't we sometimes just roll with something that doesn't make sense and make sense out of it? That's, that's Particularly when you talk about idea. animated yeah. shows. I think it's great. It just shows you not to be afraid of your thoughts. And to just go with them. Like, because so many people are af afraid of their own thoughts or afraid that it's too weird or too not right. normalized to say. Like, I think this is a perfect example of showing of just what being human is by being a bit fucking weird. Yeah. And that's acknowledging that we can, as human beings, really conjure up some really dark, weird, strange yeah, thoughts. But still know at the end of the day that, like, we're not going to go through with a lot of them because that's what being human is. It's mm. like how you, that video you put out about being like, everybody thinks about, you know, maybe ending someone's life, but not many people ever want to fucking do it. It's just... You but you have the capacity brain. for it. Yeah, exactly. I feel like this is what this episode could be as well. Like, everyone has the capacity for a lot of these thoughts, but who the fuck goes through with them? Because it's just... You just... Yeah. I feel you, man. Um I really like how they're pushing boundaries and that they're, they're exploring new ideas and me new too, new satire and um, the ridiculousness just keeps mounting. But I really love it and, and I can't. I hope Rick and Morty continues on for a dozen seasons. So do I, man. And I hope this kind of for the people that do enjoy this episode, it helps them to want to push a bit more of their more weirder ideas as well and not be afraid of the consequences of. Yeah, because you can put that into creative outlets. Yes, exactly. Like, you might feel guilty for feeling certain emotions or thoughts, but there's an outlet for it. And I think Dan Harmon and, and Justin, uh, I can't remember his last name. Um, Harmon. Or oh, Justin Roiland? Yeah, Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. Like, they, this is an outlet for them and a lot of these writers for these ideas. And if you have the, your own version of them and you feel guilty for feeling them, don't push them down, but find a safe outlet, whether it's creative writing or whether it's uh, cartoons, animations, it's music, comedy, whatever. I think, it, I think that's a good way to way to end it. Yeah, man. Jungle Bees, baby. I'm Alexander Jungle Emmanuel Bees. Sandalis. You can catch me on the internet. Oh, stroking this microphone with my face. I know, I don't know if you know, but all of these are available on all podcast platforms. You can listen to all of these as you drive, as you ride, as you bust nuts. Yes, please. If you bust nuts to us, like, that's not weird. That's makes me want to cry. That's a compliment. Sleep. You know, that's the thing. If you knew the amount of people that busted nuts to thinking of you, they said something we'll never really know. But it, almost everybody... That's a good point. I feel like no one would have busted nuts to me, but of course at least one person would Oh, cried. come on. What you mean? All, all, all the women that you've been with, like, you don't think uh, any of them would have at home thought about 
Come on, son. I just don't think about that. But if I was forced to think actually Well, I'm forcing that, you to think about it. I don't want to. It kind of seems egotistical. Well, if we think about other people think about other people, we think about other people, and then we think about them in different ways. Shit. On that note, Jungle Bees, baby. Jungle Bees. You can, guys, check out Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Jungle Bees. Subscribe, like, you guys know what to do. Yeah. Much love.